Hello, my name is Diane Addy. I'm a veterinary virologist and my dream is to eradicate feline coronavirus, the cause of feline infectious peritonitis. This video is brought to you in association with talented veterinary cartoonist Dr. Francois Bagheni of vetocyte.fr. Here is our hero Tom, who has recently been made homeless from a multi-cat environment. He's looking out for somewhere nice to live. And seeing a pretty cat in a window, he decides to try his luck at this house. The door is opened by Francois's idea of a cat lady and uh, Tom, delighted with what he sees, indicates that he would love to live there. The cat lady points to her sign, coronavirus banned from her household and Tom has to go through his belongings to see what his latest coronavirus antibody test revealed. Having found his antibody test, he hands it to the lady and she looks at it. Unfortunately, his last test revealed that he had coronavirus antibodies. Poor Tom. The lovely lady feels for him but doesn't want to risk her other cats by bringing a coronavirus antibody positive cat into her household. Weeks go past as summer turns into autumn and autumn into winter. We still see our hero outdoors braving the elements. But what's this? Tom looks cheerful. Is it just because it's spring? Well, here he is and he's got a brand new coronavirus antibody certificate. And wonderful news, it's negative! Tom finds his new home. Our animation is intended to convey the visual message that it is important to test for feline coronavirus antibodies to, before introducing any cats to your existing cats. Unfortunately, we may have given an erroneous impression that stray or feral cats could be infected with coronavirus, but they almost never are. It is extremely unlikely that a stray or feral cat would ever bring FIP into your house. Unfortunately, it's the purebred or pedigree kittens or shelter cats who are most likely to bring feline coronavirus into your household. If you have cats already and you're thinking of getting another cat, be sure to test the new cat for feline coronavirus antibodies before bringing him into your home. Bear in mind also that your existing cats might infect a new cat, that could also happen, so you probably want to test your existing cats as well. If they have antibodies to coronavirus, it may be possible to introduce a coronavirus antibody positive cat, but bear in mind that the stress of the new cat could precipitate FIP. If you test your existing cats and you find they're negative for coronavirus antibodies, the safest thing is not to bring in a new cat unless he or she is feline coronavirus antibody negative. If you're absolutely determined to bring in a new cat, make sure that you vaccinate your existing cats with the Fellow Cell FIP vaccine. 
I know the FIP vaccine is controversial, but published evidence has shown that it will save half to three quarters of the cats who would otherwise have developed FIP. We would like to thank the donors to the Angelica Trust Fund at Cat Virus for sponsoring the animation of this video and very especially to Dr. Jean-Louis Lautrec of kitvia.fr um, for sponsoring this, this animation. Thank you. For more information on feline coronavirus and feline infectious peritonitis, visit catvirus.com. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.